Hello, my name is Grian and today I've got a bunch of stable designs to show you for places to keep your horses in. And there are all the designs there, but the concept behind each and every one of these buildings is incredibly simple. So try not to be too overly impressed because all you have to do is create two little boxes like this with some fence gates and that's pretty much it. That is the concept of a stable. You just have to make it high enough so that the horses can't escape. But this isn't about that. This isn't about the creative ways to make this box for you to keep your horse in. It's about making a design that looks nice and is in some sort of theme. So let's get straight into it. The first one is kind of a stereotypical stable and it mainly focuses on the use of these wooden trap doors. With stables you like to keep as much airflow as possible and you definitely want to be able to see your horse from the outside. This is not a normal Minecraft house, this is a stable and it needs to resemble that in some way. So this is perhaps what I'd recommend for a completely standard design. It's got a simple wooden framework and and a bunch of trapdoors with a sloping roof that goes one way and then the hay storage goes the other. This is the sandstone version of our stables. We usually try and create something from certain biomes and sandstone is the desert one. So it does sort of resemble a desert house and we've got a mixture of the sandstone types and we've also got these little indents that we make with the sandstone staircase. Overall the sides and the back are just a sandstone wall with a bit of fence thrown in there. It's the front of this build that really has all of the detail and rightly so seeing as the stable you only really interact with the front of it. So we've still got lots of open bits. Those fences allow what would be a breeze through the stable and we've got all of these blocks that you might not consider to be perhaps normal in a build like this but the leaves, the hay bales, the chests, even the fern on the right there, all of it helps tie in this build together and we've got some nice outlines and a nice shape on the roof as well. If you've seen any of my desert style houses before, you'll know that this is in line with those. Next up is a rather complicated looking build. It's actually fairly simple once you break it down into its individual components, but at a first glance, you can see that it, it does look a little bit complicated. And it's mainly because of this bit on the top, the roofing. It was designed with a savanna or a canyon biome in mind, but it would fit elsewhere if you change the colour scheme up. And you can tell it's just wood and spruce and whatever colour that you wanted to fit in as the filler. We've got some orange stained clay for this one because it would fit in quite nicely with the savanna or the canyon. On the top, it does look a little bit complicated, as does the rest of this build. The bottom half is a different story though. It has got a simple straight wooden framework that does fit together quite nicely. And in the middle bit here, we're separating them with just some spruce staircases that gives it again that nice airy feel. All of these stables have something in common where it just lets air through every single wall if you can. If you wanted to go for an all out stable that looks pretty good, this is where I would recommend you go to. We can also put a sign on each stable to say which horse goes in where, because most people actually have multiple horses for some reason, I don't know, maybe you just want to collect them. Next up, we have a modern house design. Obviously, if you took all of these and added proper walls in, this could double up as a modern house itself, but I wanted to keep it in line with that stained clay, snow, and wood design, and just open it up to make it into a stable, and it would fit really nicely next to any of that type of modern house. With this style, it's all about those straight edges and keeping it in a brutalist fashion, which is why we have that bit that sticks out in the middle, both above and forward as the centerpiece. And this is perhaps where you would put your favorite horse. And to the right, we've got two more stalls to put your horses in. In between each of the stalls, we have a separator, but we also removed the glass at the top to keep the spacious feel that a stables requires. So that is the modern house design. I call it a modern house just because that's the style that we go for. I've never seen a stable that looks like that in real life. Moving on is a more traditional style of stable, and this is perhaps what you would normally expect from your stalls 
to keep your horses in. So we've got a very, very simple two pillars of logs and then just a roof that goes over the top and then some separators between the stalls. It may seem like it's a bit complicated but all I did was a wavy design with some slabs to give it a bit more interesting of a look rather than just having it straight across as we had in the very first design. On the top it's actually meant to be a thatched roof which symbolizes and keeps it in line with a traditional style of stable. With the separators instead of just using fence, the alternative is to use a mixture of staircases and slabs to create at least a 1.5 block high separator. Of course you could just use fences, but this does look a little nicer and more solid in particular, but you can still see through them and it keeps that spacious air about it. We also used the path block, which you just whack the grass with a shovel to make it look like the horses have been using it. Next up, this is another modern design, but a different take on it. If you have a normal house and you don't want to have a building, perhaps think about keeping your horse in a truck. This is obviously what we use in real life to transport horses. Now normally it actually says horses on it and perhaps you could add that as well. I've actually made some vehicle videos in the past so if you wanted a different type of vehicle I will give a link to that in the description. But this is just a more creative way of using the very simple formula of keeping a horse in a box and it's just something to impress people. I like seeing creative ways of doing things that aren't in your normal sense. The only problem with this particular design is once you actually go in and get off your horse, you take a bit of suffocation damage, which is easily remedied just by making the truck a little bit taller. Don't go too tall, however, or it will look slightly odd and more like a truck. Moving on, we've got another wooden style design. Again, perhaps more what you would expect a stable to look like, but I thought I'd include these more normal designs as they would prove to be a bit more popular. So we're using a lot more dark brown colours with the different clays and the dark oak along with the spruce log as our framework. So this may look a bit complicated, but it's actually not. We've just got a slab with a space in between and it might look odd if you look at it individually, but the overall pattern is what we're going for there. We've got a normal spruce framework interlaced with some dark oak to give it a bit more detail and we've got some fences again to produce that airy feel that a stable should have. So all of these little details just make it look a lot older in style and design and perhaps what you would more expect from a stable than let's say a car. So on the inside we've got some fairly normal things going for us. On the top we've got just some supports on the roof but as it is a stable you do not need to detail nearly as much as you normally would with any other kind of build. For the floor outside we've got a mix of andesite and gravel but interlaced with some grass. It's really important to keep nature at the front door of this build. We also use cauldrons to keep the water in for the horses and overall I think this is one of my more favourite designs just because it's got a really nice aesthetic and it really looks like a stable. The last one is the opposite opposite of which, and we're going to be keeping the horse in the garage. The theory here is that the horse is the old fashioned car, and we don't have cars in Minecraft, so if you've got a more suburban design, perhaps you would want to consider making a garage, which is essentially a box with some various designs on top, and there's, there's my horse in the middle there. So on the top, we've just got some really random blocks, apart from the shulker box, which is meant to be some sort of ventilation. You've got a couple of buttons, a fence, some slabs. It's really just to make it look like it's not plain. And then I actually hooked up a bunch of pistons to make the garage door open, just as something different to do than a wooden fence wall as I did with many of the other designs. So you go on your horse, you go out, you don't even have to close it if you don't want to, then you come back and you pop your horse in and flip the lever to open it. Now the levers itself is just hooked up to a bunch of pistons with some redstone and some repeaters and it's really really simple, there's, there's not a lot to say about it, very simple to copy. There's probably a hundred different ways to make that better than I did, but I am not Mumbo, so I'm just gonna stick with what I know and just put some repeaters on pistons 
and thumbs up, job's done. No need to take it any further than that. So let's go through the designs for today's video. We've got the dark wood traditional style stables, one of my favorites. We've got the rather odd design of having a truck as your stable, another traditional design with a more airy thatched look, the modern house design, which could actually end up being a modern house if you just added some walls, the very complicated Savannah Canyon look for a stables, which you know, you may want to tackle one day, and the sandstone look, which of course would work in the desert, and finally our original one, which is a very standard looking stable. And of course, nothing quite beats just making a simple, cheap wooden box to keep your horse in. And I'm not telling you how to build, this is just some suggestions on some styles for places to keep your horse in. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I am incredibly sorry for my absence for the last week and a half, I have not been making videos because I've had the most awful cold, it just, I couldn't bring myself to record my voice around like, hey guys how's it going, I hate that, so I didn't record and I've just been working on some projects and coming up with some new ideas which I want to go and upload in the coming weeks which include everything from Minecraft to some random games and also some more drawing stuff, some vlogs as I recently went away again and I hope that you will give them as much love and attention as you do my normal content and I hope and look forward to reading your feedback. Thank you very much for watching everyone, goodbye!